All right, everybody, we're here at uh, the Giants. We're playing the Dodgers today at Scottsdale Stadium. So we have Josh Sushan, who's the Dodgers pre- and post-game radio host. And the Bay Area people may remember him. He used to cover the Giants and the A's and uh, for the Oakland Tribune. So, Sushi, tell me, uh, a lot of Giants fans obviously want to know how good the Dodgers are going to be this year. What do you expect out of them? You know, it's interesting to say because I think they should be better than they were last year. I think the key for them is how their bullpen responds. Bullpen was a strength of the team in 2009. Last year is a major weakness. Jonathan Broxton had problems, well chronicle problems in the second half, but he wasn't the only one. They had a lot of inconsistency. George Sherrill. They've rebuilt their bullpen with guys like Matt Greer and Blake Hawksworth, and they're expecting Bro Broxton to bounce back. But Vicente Padilla is already going to be out for at least two months. They signed him to be a starter in case they needed a starter, sort of like a sixth starter, a potential closer of Broxton struggles in the middle guy he's already down and for the third straight year Ronald Belisario was late arriving to camp they have no idea if he's even going to show up in the United States this year so I think the bullpen still remains the biggest question mark but they have five solid starters most teams have four and they kind of mix and match with the fifth they have five solid guys so I think they'll be better but I think to me the offense will be as good as Matt Kemp and Andre Ethier because if those two guys don't hit, it doesn't matter what the rule guys do. Yeah, I mean, those two guys in particular, they're, they're maybe stars and maybe huge underachievers. So right. what do you think we can get out of them this year? Well, I think the key guys is Matt Kemp because last year it's no um, secret that he struggled with uh, a lot of things. Uh, a lot of the coaching staff, him and them just did not get along. The members of the coaching staff that we did not get along with are gone. Now Don Mattingly's the manager. He got along really well with Don. Matt is very determined, very focused. Um, he insists that the relationship with Rihanna had nothing to do with his struggles last year. I believe him. I don't think there was any evidence that it was. Uh, I know a lot of fans thought that, so that's why I throw that out there. So I think, you know, he is a key. I think that if Ethier can stay healthy, he's going to put up really good numbers. Uh, he had a pinky injury, which he admits he came back too soon from last season, and as a result, he was never quite the same in the second half. But I think that both of those guys can be legitimate, you know, top 10 MVP candidates. What are your impressions of Don Mattingly so far? You know, it's interesting to see because he, I think he's going to be more fiery than people think. I think most people think of him as a laid-back guy. I think he's going to be more fiery than people think. I'm curious to see how he handles his bullpen, how he manages the bullpen. I was just talking to him earlier today about how often he got ejected as a player and what the over-under would be for the first time he gets ejected as a manager. And, and he was kind of a guy who would chirp from the dugout on behalf of his hitters. You know, rookie managers, it's really interesting to see how they handle talking to the press two times, three times every day in addition to their team. Uh, I think he was going to bring a much different element than Joe Torre. He's going to bring a more younger, hands-on. I think Joe Torre sometimes was like a CEO who delegated a lot of stuff to his coaches. I don't know how good he's going to do. I personally don't think the managers have that big of an influence on games anyways. I think plus or minus three wins or three losses at the most. But if you can inspire guys and get them fired up, then you've done your job, and we'll see what he can do. Well, we know one thing he's not going to do is go to the mound and accidentally take a step off and come back. But uh, overall for the Dodgers, over, under, on wins, what do you think? I'd say... 86, 87, somewhere in there. I think it comes down to the bullpen, and like we talked about before, Kemp and Ethier. I mean, it's always how good your big guys do. And I think they have a chance to win 90. You never know injuries, what guys can do at the trade deadline. But, but I think that in the upper 80s is legitimate, and then you never know what can happen from there. All right, Sushi, thanks so much for your time, and uh, good luck this season. All right, thank you.